computer science is how we can make people's lives better. It affects everybody's life in a different way, but throughout every day. From Tinder to Tesla to TensorFlow, computer science is affecting people's lives. They say that computer science isn't really about computers and isn't really science. It's conceptual. It's really about understanding what can be done automatically. And it's about the philosophy that anything that can be automated should be automated. This is an area of huge opportunities for people from a range of skill sets and backgrounds. And whether you're creative or technical or just inquisitive in any way, computer science is a perfect area for you. There's a niche for you. It's so vast. Regardless of what technology you create, Ultimately, it's been designed by humans, it's used by humans, and the interaction, computer-human interaction, is absolutely core to, to kind of successful computing design. When I first decided to go into computer science, I wanted to go into like the design side, designing games, because I did art and I thought that would be a nice way to mm -hmm. use creative interests in computer science and now coming at the end I decided something that I'd love to do is help people who are victims of cybercrime. I feel like that's something that really motivates me, helping people. I honestly believe that making games is very, very beneficial to society. I, I think entertainment is one of the most important things we can do for people. A lot of the successful tech entrepreneurs, probably all of them, They've all basically been software developers who have started in their garage. That's really the beauty of computing, is that you can, you can invent things, you can be creative, you can explore ideas that have never been explored before, you can create them, and you can get them out there onto the world. In my area in radiology, resources are finite, and the demand for those resources is increasing year on year. So it's imperative that we use computer science and modeling and simulation to create decision support tools to ensure that waiting lists are addressed and aren't growing out of control behind the scenes. Data scientists, I suppose, aren't usually in the microbiology department and that's where there is a real need for them um, because there's complex data they're dealing with. They're trying to look at it visually and by it manually, whereas if you can program a computer to do the same thing in a matter of seconds, then it's far more beneficial for your research. So what I'd actually really like to get into is cancer research. A practical application in computer science, or even more specifically in my area in soil robotics, would be um, in agriculture. So the plan is in the future that drones will be used to spread pollen to help you know, pollinate crops, grow crops. Rather than sending people into potentially dangerous areas, we want to send in robotic systems. So we're developing aerial drones, we're developing chemical, biological or radiation detectors to be attached to those drones, and we're developing ground-based robots that can collect forensic evidence. One of the key problems of cloud computing is the high energy related costs and environmental sustainability issue of data centres in operation today. My research explores the application of artificial intelligence and machine learning in order to try and optimise resource management um, while also successfully reducing energy consumption in the cloud. To look back now and know how far I've come on my journey in computer science I would have told myself to be more confident and more courageous in terms of pursuing computer science and not to doubt myself as much. Um, I think it's so important to, to believe in yourself and to believe that if you are interested in computer science, um, you're motivated and you're willing to apply yourself, you'll succeed. <laughs>